Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, what I assume is episode 8, or whatever. Last time, we uh, started chapter 1 and then didn't get any didn't get anything done with it. And now we're going to listen to loud screams and roars and watch giant shadowy figures go over us. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! Well, Castle and Dragon. I guess that's a fitting name for the chapter now, isn't it? Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird, weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. Uh, I actually really like this song. It's a remix of the original Mario theme, and we're just getting mushrooms left and right. What's in this tree? Oh, come on! Okay, there's nothing in the tree. Alright, I guess we'll move on then. Petal Meadows is what this is called. I struck first. Well darn, I was gonna test something with Goombella. But I can't do that. Because I have to use Mario's hammer on this guy. So I, th I had thought for a long time about uh, possibly cutting out uh, like a lot of b uh, fights and stuff, since a lot of it can be pretty repetitive, and um, especially like cutting backtracking and whatnot, and just like making it a more involved editing experience. You got close call when Mario's in danger. Uh, when Mario's in danger, this causes enemies to miss sometimes. Cool. I am thinking I'm gonna go and equip that. If I, if I have the yeah, I do. Cool. Um. But I think I I think I'd kind of rather make it like a true authentic experience, just to try it at least. Um. Part of that I will admit is probably laziness. But uh. I also just kind of, um, I also just kind of, I don't know, I feel like if you're watching somebody play something, I actually really like live streams for this exact reason. There's not usually a lot of cuts in live streams, and it's like, well, if the, if the guy's suffering that's playing the game, then the, the viewers should also suffer. No, I don't, th I don't think that's how that works exactly. Okay, so I think you push A to, to do a stylish, to get stylish points or whatever, I think you push A as she's leaving the ground, maybe? Okay, I tried a bunch of different inputs there, and that did not do anything for me. I will be probably doing most of the battles, though, as I come across them. Because, um... Oh, we got we got a uh, flower point from that. Cool. I don't know how that counted, but, uh... He, like, walked into the hammer as it was already down. That was weird. I messed that up. Um... What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Something about... Yeah, it's just a more authentic experience, in my opinion. And if you don't want to see that, then you don't have to. It's completely up to you. Alright, there's a pipe there. Do I want to go down the pipe? Yeah, I want to go down the pipe. <gasps> Alright, you ready? Urgh! That didn't work. Oh, wait. Idea. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. This probably isn't anything, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try something. Okay, yeah. I mean, I didn't think I could reach that block, I just kinda was wondering if there was a hidden block. For the most part. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X to use my tattle ability, okay? Now I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Hey, and by the way, Mario, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with A. We haven't run into any yet. Oh, I am determined to figure out Goombella's timing for the stylish points. Oh snap, there are a lot of enemies. 
Um, you go first, Kimbella. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe it says she's walking forward? I don't... So I, I do believe you can push B to block instead. Oh, so it is as she's jumping in the air. That's tough timing then, because I tried that several times. Oh, look at that, we're almost to a level up! Six points away! Alright. Look at me. I'm so clever. I'm so clever. Oh, there's nothing over this way. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to go for 100% necessarily. I, mean, I guess I could. I would be interested in I would be interested in 100%ing this game. I've never 100%ed a Paper Mario game before, so there's nothing this way. But um I think uh I think that'd be really cool. I would be interested. I just have to be very thorough um like even more so than by my standards, which I guess you wouldn't know what my standards are, but I I consider myself pretty thorough. Um See, there's a star piece over here. Although this is only the first chapter. Is there anything else over here? I wouldn't think so, but... Yeah, okay. Um... Oh, it's a blinking... Whatever the heck that's supposed to be. It kind of looks like candy canes, but different colors. Maybe they're, uh... Vanilla candy. I don't know. That doesn't make much sense in my mind. You got a mystery! Wait, so does that mean that I could have checked these bushes as well? Yes, it does. Okay. I didn't think I could, but I guess I can. What is in here? Fire flower! There's something with this. It blinks. Okay, I guess not. There probably is, and I just don't know what to do. This music! <laughs> this music bothered me so much my first time playing this. It just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway. Welcome, travelers! Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Pedalberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. And we're kind of remote. Yepity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't help tourism. Put it that way. Um, people just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say I, that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should check it out. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. This is Petalburg. It's nice and warm here, so the air is so clean. Such a peaceful hamlet. And there's a, there's a shop and an inn, so you buy stuff and rest. Oh, and one more thing. The river's pretty, but fall in. The nibbles will get you. Well, then let's better, we better not fall in. Top of the morning. Tis I, Bobolber. I am as happy. I am as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. I think that's more how he meant it. Um... I don't think I need to heal. But I'm going to... It's probably the same exact as it... Okay, it, it's the same as it is in Rogueport, I think. Um... Alright. Toad! Never seen you before. You saw a hook tail on your way here. Are you sure? Big old dragon tail like a hook? Wow, you're super duper lucky it didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. If I'd seen it, I'm sure, uh, if it had seen you, I'm sure it would have gobbled you up, uh, like an after-dinner mint. 
It must have it must have been stuffed and thought you looked gross. At any rate, you were lucky. Wow. Harsh. <laughs>